Welcome to Manipur, a land of rich history and cultural heritage. In this ancient land, there exists a weapon that embodies the valor and skill of the Mite cavalry soldiers, the Arambai. The Arambai, a dart weapon used by the Mite cavalry soldiers, is a sight to behold. With its iron arrowhead, often poisoned, attached to the vibrant feathers of a peacock, it represents the deadly precision and speed of its wielder. Mounted on their loyal companions, the Manipuri ponies, these warriors would gallop with breathtaking speed, unleashing a storm of poison darts upon their enemies. Fast forward to 2005, a group of passionate Mete youth sought to honor their heritage and preserve the traditions of their ancestors. Thus, the Arambai Tengol was born. At present the organization is led by Manipur's titular king and Rajya Sabha MP, Sri Leshemba Sanajauba as the chairman, Kerao constituency MLA, Sri Rameshwore as the vice chairman, Khurilam Long MLA and minister, Sri L. Sushindro as the finance secretary, Mr. Korongamba Khuman as the commander-in-chief, and the chief minister of Manipur, Sri N. Birin Singh as the overall chief. The Alambai Tengol embarked on a journey to safeguard their cultural legacy and promote tourism festivals. Through dedicated training programs, these young students are mastering the art of wielding the Arambai. They learn the intricacies of swirling the deadly darts and develop unparalleled accuracy and speed. The Alambai Tengol militias, proudly wearing their black uniform with the emblem of three warriors, stand united in their mission to preserve their heritage and uphold Mite traditions. Supported by influential figures in Manipur's government, including the chief minister himself, the Arambai Tengol has gained recognition and significance in their pursuit. However, behind their overt objectives lies a secret ambition. The Arambai Tengol seeks not only to preserve their culture, but also to revive the ancient faith of Sana Mahi and establish a separate Mite sovereign state. What started as a journey to celebrate heritage has taken an unexpected turn. On that fateful day, the 3rd of May, 2023, after the successful completion of the peace rally, violence erupted in Tobang when the Mites burned down the centenary gate of the Anglo-Puki War and blaze fires from Pangwai. This is where the ethnic war started. And as chaos engulfed the land, the Arambai Tengol found themselves at the center of a storm. Startling evidence emerged, capturing the Arambai Tengol in collusion with the state police. A web of deception and power led to unthinkable actions. Cookie colonies in Imphal were mercilessly attacked, vandalized, and set ablaze by the Mites. <laughs> The violence soon spread to Kuki villages along the foothills of the Imphal Valley. On the 4th of May, 2023, Manipur police teams, accompanied by Arambai Tengol members in their black shirts, can be seen marching towards Haukip Wing, Imphal, which was later subjected to vandalism and arson. In yet another shocking video, Two Arambai Tengol militia members proudly raised the Salatrit flag atop a burning church, symbolizing their perceived victory. These video clips provide a haunting testament to the involvement of the Arambai Tengol and the state police in the devastating events that unfolded. Arambai Tengol, originally established with the good intention of safeguarding and revitalizing the ancient Mite culture and customs, unfortunately deviated from its noble purpose and became involved in perpetrating acts of ethnic violence. On 26 May, as reported by Infal Free Press, it was announced that the Arambai Tengol had chosen to temporarily dissolve and halt all of its activities. Nevertheless, despite this decision, the disturbing trend of ongoing ethnic violence shows no signs of abating. Adding to the escalating tensions, 
A gunfight ensued between militants affiliated with the Arambai Tengol and the 37th Assam Rifles on 28th May at approximately 5.30 pm in Seru, Suglu, Manipur. Shri N. Birin Singh, the Chief Minister, had woven a narrative that misled the masses. And the Arambai Tengol, once a symbol of cultural preservation, became an agent of chaos and devastation. As Manipur grapples with the aftermath of this tragedy, the true nature of the Arambai Tengol's establishment in 2005 is brought to light. The beauty of the Arambai tarnished, and the responsibility for the violence lies at the feet of those who wielded it.